put me in the game, coach. It's the anthem of everyone who has ever sat on the sidelines of life and felt like you deserve to be out there. You felt like I have something I can contribute. It's about helping the team. Like I see the team behind. I know I got something for them. Coach, put me in the game. It's as if you're Rudy all by yourself. You know that perhaps somebody might be faster, bigger, stronger. They may have been born with better genetics, but what they don't have is that innate talent and that gift and that will that's within you. Put me in the game. So this is what, it's, it's like the gift I want everybody to receive is you can get good at anything you set your mind to. But do you actually set your mind to it? Do you have that inhuman level of follow through? Do you keep pushing and fighting long after it stopped being fun, deep into boredom, because you have a why. You know why you're doing what you're doing and you're just driving towards that. And when you have that, you can accomplish this, this extraordinary stuff. You know, if you take people, and I've told you this, and you expose them voluntarily to things that they are avoiding and are afraid of, you know, that they know they need to overcome in order to meet their goals, their self-defined goals. If you can teach people to stand up in the face of the things they're afraid of, they get stronger. And you don't know what the upper limits to that are, because you might ask yourself, like, if for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, by, the def by your own definitions, right, within the value structure that you've created to the degree that you've done that, what would you be like? It's an anthem, it's a mantra for everyone that's been an underachiever because they weren't given an opportunity, so you gotta go out and you gotta take it. And the only way that you can take it is that you put in the hard work and you put in discipline and that discipline is getting up early in the morning i hit the gym i put in the cardio work i eat right and when i get done with that and at the end of my day i make sure that i sit and i look at my goals and i remind myself this is who i'm becoming get back to living your life because at the end of the day, most of us gonna realize this. We wasted our life for a person, for people, for a job, for whatever in this world that could give a damn about us. And life is too short to settle. Life is too short to suffer. Life is too short. Ninety-five percent of our decisions are made by how you feel in the moment. And that is the problem. Do you feel like making that cold call? No, you don't. Do you feel like doing that third set of reps? No, you don't. And if you accept the fact that you may never feel ready and you may never feel motivated and you may never feel courageous and that's okay, but you can still push yourself forward. As you start to see yourself becoming the person that takes action, Guess what happens? You build the skill of confidence and courage. We gotta be excited about the future. We gotta do things that make us want to live. It cannot always be about problems every day. I mean, do you wanna wake up every morning and everything's just a problem? Well, what, in, what inspires you and what makes you excited about the future? There's gotta be some things like that. So what do you do? You allow that to make you corrupt and nihilistic? Not if you think that it's the corruption and the nihilism that's the problem. So you're obligated to be optimistic in some sense, despite the evidence. And that's faith. So, you know, pick up your cross and stumble uphill. You don't take days off, you don't take weeks off, you continue to go after it. Because if you do it long enough, the habits will become a part of your DNA. And what you lacked in genetics will now become automatic out of you. That you'll get up and you'll go after it. And when others have gotten satisfied, when they've gotten rested and they've accepted being mediocre or good enough, that's when your hard work leads you to greatness. So bring it back and then you will have the formula for pivoting at any moment. You time travel forward a year. You investigate the patterns that you have that are giving you the result that you want, and then you back your ass up to right here, right now. And you decide, am I willing to do this now? If I'm willing, then five, four, three, two, one through all the excuses that are gonna be there when you're trying to override your operating system. That's how you do it. We're 
we're so stuck in this comfort zone, and the comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. We're so stuck where it's convenient. We're so stuck in this ritual where it feels good, and so when God tries to shake us up a little bit, the problem always happens before the miracle. quit. Fight on. Fight through the storm. Fight through the pain and come out the other side stronger and tougher and better. A fighter. A survivor. A winner. victorious and free from that storm and so I love the process I love it I love working for what I want I love the sacrifice I love the dedication I love the commitment I love that everybody wants the prize nobody wants the process everybody wants to be a diamond nobody's willing to get cut everybody wants to go to heaven nobody wants to die It's my duty to give my all. And when I give my all, it doesn't become a play, it becomes a promise. Somebody's gotta face you with that mentality of put me in the game. Coach, the coach can be a boss at your job, put me in the game. I'm here to bring something to win. It's not about myself, it's about what's in me demanding to be more. And whatever the gap is between me being good and me being great, I'm trying to close it. You've got to have a mindset that is bigger than just you. Put me in the game, coach. Free from the darkness.